Hey friends, in this video we're going to talk about Wilson's theorem in number theory. So Wilson's theorem states that a natural number n greater than 1 is a prime number if and only if the product of all the positive integers less than n is 1 less than a multiple of n. So the most important thing in this is the line from here. The product of all the positive integers less than n. Less than n means strictly less than n. Okay. Here less than n means strictly less is 1 less than a multiple of n. Fine. Now I have tried to make this thing easy by writing. So it is it like this. Like n is prime, n is prime if and only if so this is the symbol of if and only if n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod n so if you know about congruence then you can understand this thing but further I will try this uh, to simplify this in this way like it is same as n minus 1 mod uh, factorial not mod factorial plus 1 is uh, divisible by is divisible by n so what we can say that n minus 1 factorial plus 1 is divisible by n okay so now we'll check Wilson's theorem is satisfying with the different prime numbers or not with different prime numbers we will take different prime numbers and we'll check that Wilson theorem is satisfying or not. So moving on to our next slide, uh, we'll check first with n equals to let's say three. So for n equals to three, what we have seen n minus one factorial plus one. Okay, so n minus one factorial plus one should be divisible by should be divisible by n, right? That is over here, which is three. So we'll simply put this thing like 3 minus 1 factorial plus 1 that is equals to 2 factorial plus 1 and that simply is equals to 2 plus 1 that is 3. So we can definitely say that 3 is divisible by 3. Okay. So yeah, for n equals to 3, Wilson's theorem satisfied. Now we'll check for some other prime number. Let's say n equals to 5. So for n equals to 5, Similarly, n minus 1 factorial plus 1 should be divisible by should be divisible by n over here, which is 5. So simply we'll put this 5 in place of n, that is 5 minus 1 factorial plus 1. Uh, and 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial plus 1. Simply 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 24 plus 1, and that is 25 and yeah 25 is also divisible by is divisible by 5 so yeah Wilson theorem satisfied for n equals to 5 as well so similarly for all the prime numbers Wilson theorem will be satisfied hence what we can say that Wilson theorem is simply is to check like if n is prime if and only if n minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod n or simply we can say n minus 1 factorial plus 1 is divisible by n okay so I hope Wilson theorem is clear to you now if you have any doubt you can comment down below and thanks for watching